A solid sphere of radius 15 cm is melted and recast into a solid right circular cone of radius 2.5 cm and height 8 cm. Calculate the number of cones recast. So this is the question. So here we are going to talk about two figures, two 3D figures. One of the figure is the spear and the other one it is a cone. Okay. So a spear it's going to be a circular a 3D image. Okay. You can imagine like that. A circular 3D image is nothing but a sphere. A cone as you all know it's going to be a circular base and a triangular top. That's going to be a cone. Okay. So now here what is going to be converted as what? So that is going to be the very important thing in such type of questions. Okay. Wherever we have the count to be identified that is how many cones or how many spears or how many squares if we have such type of questions where the count is being targeted. Okay. We need to be very careful of what is converted to what. Okay, here a spear is recasted into a cone. So, which is the base 3D image? Spear is the base image. Now, this spear only is converted to a cone. Always have this idea in your mind. Okay, why I am saying this? That I will say you when we are going to work the problem. So, let's start working the problem. Let's just write the given data of a sphere and for a cone okay for a sphere it is a 3d circular image so it has only the radius so what's the radius of the sphere 15 centimeter that's it for a cone it's going to be again radius and height but we are going to write it in the different notation so that it is easy for us to differentiate between both the radius and height okay let me write it with capital R again it's going to be the radius of the cone okay what's the radius of the cone it is 2.5 centimeter okay height height of the cone it is 8 centimeter that's it now a spear is converted to a cone okay we are asked to identify the number of uh, cones formed This will be equal to what is converted to what? A sphere is converted to a cone. So the volume of the sphere on the top, right? By volume of the cone. Okay, a sphere is converted to a cone. So the numerator is always for the original 3D image. What is the original image? Sphere. So its volume divided by the volume of each of the cone. If we do it so, we will be able to identify how many cones are being formed. Okay. So let's write. Now volume of the sphere. What's the formula to identify volume of the sphere? It is 4 by 3 pi r cube by volume of the cone. What's the formula? 1 by 3 pi r square h. Okay. Now, we are actually differentiating, right? So that it is easy for us to understand. For a sphere, it is R and for a cone, it's going to be capital R and capital H. Okay. So now I hope uh, you people are able to understand why we are differentiating the symbols. Okay. So now, pi and pi gets cancelled. This is 4 by 3, 1 by 3. So 3 in the denominator of this numerator function and 3 in the denominator of this denominator function gets cancelled. So this is 4 r cube by r square h. Now let's substitute. Small r that is the radius of the sphere that is 15. So 4 into 15 into 15 into 15. 15 cube so 15 multiplied 3 times. r square. 2.5 into 2.5 h 8 right now let's cancel 4 2 times 8 right 
Now we are going to cancel by using the 5 tables. 5 into 0 0.5, 5 3 times. Again 5 into 0 0.5, 5 3 times. Now let's cancel. 5 into 0 0.1 times and this is 5 3 is so 15. Okay. So now what we are having? We are having 3 into 3 into 3. 3 3 is 9. 9 3 is 27. By 0 0.5 into 0 0.1. 0 0.05 into 2. Right. So this is going to be 27 by 0 0.05 into 2. 5 2s are 10, 2 decimal places, so 0 0.10. So now this is 27 by 0 0.1, which is nothing but 270. Yes or no? 27 by 0 0.1 actually. So 0 0.1 into 10 by 27 into 10, that will be 270 by 1. So that's nothing but 270, which means when we are having a sphere of radius 15 centimeter, if it is melted to make cones, okay you will be able to get 270 cones each of which are of radius 2.5 centimeter and height 8 centimeter that's it hope you all understood thank you